my beer. We found his beer, Rude Nation. We can begin recording the Power Hour Plus. Not plus plus. This is just a regular yeah, no, this, plus. This is, this is going to be regular plus. This isn't going to shoot more than two hours. Maybe not even an hour and a half, but just giving you the disclaimer right now. But you never know because we're fucking loose cannons, we are cannons man. man. The time of the loose cannon. Cash. Yeah. Yeah, I like I'm sure you got can- stories. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I got I got a couple of stories. Right. Well, I'm sure. I'm you, Tom. Okay, you've heard Tom. And then we're the Rude Boys. Rude Boys Power Hour Plus. Woo! Uh, we're here again. Nation, for you to listen to. And download. Download, download, download. Yep. Don't listen. DL, DL, DL. Yeah, sure. Uh, episode 39, we got, for you, beautiful people... We have some technical difficulties. No, uh, the fucking thing keeps going blacking out on me. Right, yeah, I got you. Um, and today's episode, today's beautiful, wonderful episode, is going to be all about Spider-Man's Rogue Gallery. So, you boys love Spider-Man. No. Do we? A little known fact. If, if you're able to listen very subtly to all the details we've left in all the uh, power hours before this, we may mention Spider-Man once or twice. Yeah, 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 you're right. In breath in every episode uh-huh. for the end of time. So we are focusing on Spider-Man villains, and this kind of just came to us while we were recording last week's episode. Uh, yeah, that's how spur of the moment you boys are. We're fucking nuts, loose cannons. We are crazy. So we got that coming up later in the show, but first, you know what I want to say? Blitzkrieg news. Woo, Blitzkrieg! <laughs> Ready for Blitzkrieg? Oh yeah! Well, right, you're fucking say something. <laughs> oh shit! You're recording. Look at that. Yeah, let's go. So we are going to start off in video games yep. as we properly do every Blitzkrieg. That's very and... true. But this time I'm going to throw it to Christopher to start it off. Yes, because we are super, super, duper, duper fresh of a Nintendo Direct. Uh, we're recording on April. <laughs> What the flying yes. fuck? This has been such a great show already. <laughs> Where the fuck did April come from? I don't know. We were recording February 13th. And it was a Nintendo Direct that just happened, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> um, and we're just going to give you the highlights, the rundowns. Tom and I, I saw the whole thing. I gave Tom the highlights. Because, I, I, you know, Tom That's all I need. That's all he needs. Starts off strong, in my mind, Super Mario Maker 2, coming out June of this year. I didn't... I, I, I only fucked around with the first one. I'm not gonna lie. Here. I, dro- I dropped that game like a bad habit. You really did. I really I did. did. I was super there, hyped for I it. I remember me, you, and your girlfriend were here. Yeah. And we were sitting and just making Screwing up these around. Yeah. fucking bizarre shit. And then yeah. we were like, alright, cool. We're... Let's, we're done. Let's yep. play something else. No, it's absolutely true. Um, I am. I like to think I am the creative type, but I am not the creative type. I'm lazy as shit, dude. You know what it is? I I I've seen videos of that shit. Oh man! And I'm like, Nuts. all right, these are basement dwellers that have way too much free time. Instead of playing on Mario Maker, you should be downloading but not listening to this beautiful podcast. Right, yeah. Or, I mean, if you want to listen to it while you're making Mario Maker levels, by all means, yeah. let us know. Hit us up in the comments. Exactly. Um, but, If yeah. you're offended by me calling you Basement Dwellers, come at me. Tommy underscore cash with a K. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. Tom's hit list. So, <laughs> um, a, a, basically an enhanced port of the Wii U game. Um, a lot of new different aspects are added. Uh, it, so far, it looks like it's still the same three art styles. Your Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Mario World, and New Super Mario Brothers style. Mm-hmm. Some of the new things that were added were the, um, the little cat bell from Super Mario uh, 3D World, where it turns them in Cat Mario. Um, a, no Bowsette! Huh? Oh, God. No Bowsette! Bowsette is non-canon, all right? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Just God. wait. So, that's a thing that's happening in June of this year, completely okay. out of nowhere. Also, uh, what they did was, in the Direct, they talked about some details for Man Oh Man, our summer game of the year, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Oh, possibly game of the year. Uh, They they just basically focused on more characters. So that's going to be really cool, coming out summer. Uh, Smash 3.0 coming out in the spring. New Captain Toad content. Bloodstained coming out for the summer. We're super hyped for that. More Star Fox content coming out for Starlink in April. Uh, they showed up some Fire Emblem Three Houses, July 26th. That's uh, got a little bumped, but it's still coming out. Tetris 99 is a free download available for Nintendo Switch Online because it's an online game, so just download it if you got the fucking thing. I will. Cool. 
uh, Damon X Mahina, there's a demo, demo out right now. Check it out. I downloaded it. I didn't try it yet, so you'll find out about that next episode. Hellblade, a game that I was like this close to buying last week when it was on sale at Best Buy, coming out for the Switch, spring. They uh, re-solidified the, Mar uh, the Mortal Kombat 11 coming out for April. And also, uh, if, you're, if you're interested, Final Fantasy IX, actually out on the eShop awesome. as of today for cool. like 21 bucks. Uh, then they did two debuts. Uh, you got a platinum-ass platinum game uh, called Astral Chain coming out August 30th. P-A-P-G? P-A-P-G. You're a buddy. And uh, then they finished up with uh, something we were talking about in a previous, previous, previous episode of Blitzkrieg News. Uh, a remake of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Ooh, um, looks yeah. so good. Coming out for Switch. Looks like a, like a tweaked style of... The Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds. And super, super cool. And, yeah, can't wait. So that was the Nintendo Direct. Awesome. We're going to stay in video games for a little bit let's more. Hit up, let's hit it up real quick. We got uh, Microsoft bringing Xbox Live to the Switch. Joy of joys. This is something, yeah, it, it, Microsoft is opening it up for developers to get just, like, logins and stuff like that. It's super ba bare bones, super background stuff right now. You're not going to get, like... Xbox Live Arcade or anything like that right. going on. Um, but, yeah, interesting. It's just like a weird world we're living in right now, video game-wise. Very odd. Yep. I guess we should talk about Apex Legends. This looks very cool. Very Fortnite and Overwatchy. Right. Um, I do like the fact that you have special abilities with your squad. Sure. Which is something I kind of wish Overwatch would do. Like, right. if you have two guys who, like... Or, you know, work together or have a story together, you know, they can do something like like a special fucking move. That would be badass. Yeah, and what's cool about this is that this whole game just got, like, it was uh, dropped, rumored, random. announced, debuted, and is, like, crushing it on, like, streaming charts and stuff like that. Good. So, like, it, it's wild. Again, what a reality we're living in right exactly. now. Exactly. Capcom puts a ton of its soundtracks up on Spotify. Uh, super awesome. I was listening to the Mega Man X soundtrack last night, and that's cool. That's pretty neat. I like I, it. I, I'll have to look. I got, yeah, I got to check more into Look that. up some soundtracks on my way home. Hell yeah. Tequila Wakanda wants to direct more Marvel movies. He definitely does, and he did a good job with Thor Ragnarok. So, hey, why not? Why the fuck not? Yeah, buddy. Avengers Endgame 2B, three hours Plus, that's way too long, man. Possibly an intermission. I feel like we can get like twenty Blitzkrieg news in that. Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> yeah. If things work out. Yeah. If we don't get technical difficulties. <laughs> Fuck cock. Into the Spider Verse hitting <laughs> so is March nineteenth. Yeah. I'm there right there. Yep. There, I'm, day one, baby. I'm actually there right now. Yeah. Yeah. You're in the future. In the future. Oh, man. Give me a copy of uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider Verse, please. I will. Blu-ray, DVD. Oof, that Aladdin trailer. Did you see the shit with uh, Will Smith as the genie? It's pretty bad. It's, 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 it's pretty tough. Looks it's like a tough. fucking Oompa Loompa. A big bloated Oompa Loompa. Yeah, it, it's just like, oh man, I would have been alright with non-CGI. I, I really would have. Yeah. yeah, it was funny, like all those scenes, everyone was like, oh, Will Smith isn't a blue genie, I don't like this, and now he's a big blue genie and nobody likes we it. We don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> Go figure, the yep. internet's not happy. Huh. We're going to jump to Taivei. Taivei knows. Taivei. Marvel bringing adult animation to Hulu. Right, so um, Disney kind of outlined its plans for Disney+, Plus, mm -hmm. and with the acquisition of Fox and all its assets, it becomes a majority shareholder for the Hulu. And it's going to put a lot of its more adult content, so things like FX, the mm -hmm. FX network, they're still going to have content that goes straight to Hulu and not okay. necessarily to Disney+. Plus. So, in that same regard, they're going to uh, open up Marvel to do animated... Uh, adult cartoons um, and that's going to be on Hulu and not necessarily Disney Plus. So it's going to feature characters like Modoc, Dazzler, and Howard the Duck and um, I think it's they're starting it off with like a little mini movie called The Offenders. Obviously a play on The Defenders. Sure, of course. Um, but definitely check out the, uh, the stuff online like the creative team is... Um, there's some pedigree behind it. Like, Patton Oswalt is, is uh, in the Badass. mix. Badass. Especially with um, MODOK. So okay. That's pretty cool. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, we're going to say on the Hulu uh, ho train. The uh, Hulu, I love no. That. Huh? I love that. Hulu opened to revive recently canceled Netflix Marvel shows. Pretty I, cool. 
Yeah, no, it's great. If, it, if Daredevil if has a works. new home, I'm cool with it. Yeah. Whatever. I support anything yep. that will get me more fucking Daredevil yeah. in and around my face. Right. I just want him with Spider-Man. But sure. you know that. Yeah. And you get a crybaby Punisher. Uh, I guess. Yeah. Legion, to wrap up this June for its third and final season, yep. Kiss is Harry Lloyd as Professor X. So, Tom... Harry Lloyd is... Uh, Viserion from Game of Thrones. Oh, okay, so there you go. Yeah. So, that's pretty cool. And obviously, because Legion is one of the, like, ancillary Fox slash X-Men shows that were running around for the past couple years, shit's gotta wrap up, especially with the Disney acquisitions. Sure. So, gotta make some moves there. Absolutely. We're gonna stay on, uh, the FX fuck train. What we do in the shadow. What we do in the shadows premieres on FX March twenty seventh. This is a Tequila Wakanda joint. Yeah, it looks it looks cool, but again, I have seen the movie, so some of the like you know, we've talked about it before. Yeah, like it, <laughs> off off the air, um, a lot of the uh, jokes in the trailer uh, kind of hit a little weird because we saw the movie. Yeah, um, which is which is fine because it, it doesn't necessarily bring in old fans. But new fans, I'm sure, would find that shit hilarious. Yeah, um, I, I like it. I'm di- I'm down. I'll, I'll check it out. Okay, Simpsons renewed for seasons 31 and 32. Oh, interesting. Fucking juggernaut, man. Big time. Yeah. Yeah, it's a juggernaut, I, bitch. And I think Disney will keep them. I think so too, because it is an iconic staple. Absolutely. Within, um, the uh, pantheon of American culture. So uh, that's it yeah, for TV. Wrestling, wrestling, wrestling news. All right, let's hit up some wrestling news. AEW had their double or nothing rally. Kenny Omega joins. Welcome to the University of Duh. Uh, Anyone who didn't think he was going to join is a fool and a clown. Uh, You know, they're all all friends. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait for sure. AEW. What Omega Jericho? Omega Jericho. Which we're gonna get two. to. We're gonna get to. We're gonna get to. Oh, all right. Geez, sorry. AEW Double or Nothing sells out in four oh, minutes. Okay, there you go. Right, all right. All as, right. So uh, hey, uh, I believe Omega Jericho Two is gonna be on the card, yeah. right? As uh, as you said prematurely. Right. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. You also have Jericho. Uh, fucker. You have the Young Bucks versus the Lucha Brothers. Right. Uh, Adam Page versus Pac. Right. Cool. Pack, right? Have I heard, the as artist I've heard formerly known as Neville? Pac. Um, I'm sure we'll see some titles get rolled out. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Which will be nice to see. Definitely some nice new molds. Yeah. Uh, WWE Superstar Shakeup planned for April 15th and 16th. Right. So yeah, this is right after WrestleMania. So yep. all the dust is settled from uh, the big Mania season, and all the duds will probably be getting fired. Duds. There you go. Um, yeah, so they like to do that once everything is kind of all settled and then, like, the, the start of the new season, they, uh, they shake shit up. So Raw, you'll get some SmackDown talent going on, and when you get to SmackDown, you get some Raw talent on there. Exactly. So that's or, cool. And some NXT getting sprinkled into both shows. Very true. <laughs> we'll talk about that when it gets later. Absolutely. WWE and Netflix working together for original movies. This is in its infancy. Right. So it's not even, like, you know... Wh- it's worth mentioning, but it's not because right. it's like, who the fuck even heard this? Yeah. Like, I wish that um, they would take a different st- approach to their movies, WWE, and kind of lean more into the canon that they set up. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, because I mean, they have characters on characters on characters. Sure. Already established. Yeah. Like, just do something with them. I remember CM Punk once mentioned on like a podcast or something, he would love to see WWE films do a remake of Cannibal Run, where it's just a bunch of wrestlers in cars trying to get from coast to coast, point to point, whatever it was. Mm-hmm. So you have like all these different characters, all these different personalities, cramped in cars, and just mayhem ensues. It's like just like wacky races sure. in real life. That'd be pretty yeah. cool. Uh, some cool things have happened in wrestling this past week. Okay. Their go-home shows for the Elimination Chamber for right. Raw and SmackDown have been a hundred times better than their go-home shows for... The Royal Rumble. Right. Uh, on Raw, you have the Revival as the new Raw Tag Team Champions. Right. Which was awesome to see. Cool. Finally, they Good deserve it. And I hope it was a situation where it was like... Oh, the match was sick. Right, but in a situation where it's like... It wasn't like, oh, we gotta give them the title so they can stay. You know, like, I hope it was just like they see uh, yeah, the talent... And, 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 and then strip it. Right. Yeah. Right. Like, oh, uh, you're gonna say great. Right. Bye. You also had Seth Rollins completely out-talk Paul Heyman. 
which I didn't think was possible for anyone right. to do. Also, all of a sudden, Dean Ambrose's music hits, and he gets into the ring, and he's facing Rollins, and Rollins is like, what the fuck's going on? Right. And he, Dean Ambrose motions for the mic, and he's like, slay the beast, and throws the mic down. Right. It's just people are tired of the bullshit. Sure, sure, uh, sure. Becky Lynch has been suspended for 60 days, which will take her five days after WrestleMania. Right. Obviously. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, Vince McMahon's a dick. Well, uh, yeah. Because she punched and slapped Triple H and Stephanie, and they forced her to apologize, so she apologized, and then they were like, all right, you're back in the main event to face Ronda Rousey. Cool. Vince comes out. Nope, Charlotte's here. You know. Huh. Yeah, Flair. Her That's last funny. name's Flair. So. That's so funny. And, um... So yeah, we're gonna see, you know. And then we're on SmackDown side. I know Kofi. Yeah, I was just gonna get to that. Sorry. Yeah, let me finish. We're gonna get uh, Commissioner Shawn Michaels. Oh Jesus! You wanted to get the Shawn Michaels. (laughs) Bring uh, you know Becky, Becky back into that main event. Uh huh. And uh, again, my uh, young friend here is uh, premature, and he been the first time. (laughs) As he said, Kofi was the marathon man. He went about 58 minutes in a gauntlet match by first pinning Daniel Bryan, the world right. he- uh, WWE champion. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then he pinned... Jeff Hardy, right? Jeff Hardy. And which, he pinned Joe. And then he pinned Joe. And then AJ pinned him. And then right. Randy Orton just fucking just RKO's. Sure, yeah. Literally out of nowhere. Like, right. you didn't even see him come. That's what we got for Blitzkrieg. <laughs> That's it. Awesome. All right, Tom. So um, tell the nation what you've been nope, up to. Nope. You're going to tell the nation what, what you've been up to. All right. That's fine. Yeah. Um, so, nation, we're doing Spider-Man talk. And I know I, I, broke, I, broke, I broke our rule. I did a little research. So my girlfriend and I watched Spider-Man 2. You're, you're familiar, right? Tobey Maguire, Kirsten mm-hmm. Dunn, James mm-hmm. Franco, Alf- Alfred, Alfred Molina, Molina, J.K. Simmons. J.K. Simmons, um, Elizabeth Banks, um, who else is in Elizabeth it? Banks? Rosemary Harris. Oh, right, Elizabeth um, Banks plays Betty Brandt. Yep. Fuck, a I A bunch of different comedians, that. I noticed, too. Like, yeah. a lot of, like, uh, uh, um... I don't know, uh, the first... I forget, I forget the dudes. Mm. I, there's a lot of comedians. Uh, Hal Sparks or some shit like that. Yes, yeah, he's yeah, yeah, it. when he's in the elevator. Yeah. Which, um, Jim Norton, from the first movie. He stinks and I don't like him. You got a lot, you got like, like, Jim Norton look to you right now with the shaved head. Nice, nice. I guess. And, and you got an attitude, a Jim, a Jim Norton attitude. Anywho, Spider-Man 2. Um, I talked about Spider-Man 1 mm. a couple episodes ago. And it was like, ah, it was alright. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, everyone loved it back in the day because mm-hmm. everyone didn't get the same boner as more modern Marvel movies do. Sure. More modern Marvel movies do. Bleh. So, when you get a decent level comic book movie in the same vein back in the day of, like, X-Men and Spider-Man. Sure. Then you're like, oh my god, this movie's amazing. Right, right, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. So Spider-Man 2 comes along and, it comes along and everyone says the same thing, okay? Uh, Spider-Man 2 was good. The, uh... I don't like, like, an, it's weird to say, an a, a American guy named Otto Octavius. I just always hear a German guy. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it must be coming from the comics. Sure. Like, his name is Otto Octavius. Like, I feel like that's just kind of like, he should have a bit of an accent. You know what I mean? That's just me. Okay, what's my last name? Fulbert. Right. Right. But you're not a cartoon character, though. You know what I mean? Am I? You're not a, you're a real character. You're not a, you're, you're a real boy. You're not a fictional character, though. Am I? Uh, no, you're not. You're real. <sighs> I'm your imaginary friend. Oh, Jesus. This whole podcast has been a fucking delve into my mind. It's you talking in a mirror the whole time. (laughs) It's me talking to me, but listening to me, but editing us. So... my God. (laughs) It was pretty fucking deep, right? Um, Spider-Man 2 is okay. Um, Better than the first one. Yes. The introduction of Kirk Connors was nice. Really disappointed they that introduced Kirk Connors? they did. They talked about him in the first one. They actually had him uh-huh. in the second and third one. Yes, yes, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. Peter's in college now, so right, he's running yeah. around doing the thing. That whole pizza time thing in the beginning that was funny. Um, 
because I told my girlfriend that was a big thing. Like, remember leading up to uh, New Year's Eve 2019, mm-hmm. how everyone was like, oh, if you play Avengers Endgame at such and such time, the snap happens, the snap happens right. at midnight, or uh, the Undisputed Era uh-huh. theme, you get the boom right at midnight. Mm-hmm. Someone was like, oh, if you play Spider-Man 2 at such and such time, you get Peter coming in and saying pizza time right at midnight, which is like two minutes into the fucking movie when he's delivering pizza trying right. to make ends meet. Um, the whole James Franco thing, like the Harry Osborn thing, that was a little pushed. I get it. Like, you know, that's a huge legacy, the Green Goblin. Sure. Huge legacy. I agree. We're going to talk about it. Um, a, a little like, oh, sure. Is your friend Spider Man coming? What does your friend Spider Man say? And then Tobey Maguire's like, just like fucking knock it off. Yeah. It had the iconic Spider Man No More scene, which was cool when he throws his shit out. Mm-hmm. Um, he basically has erectile dysfunction when he can't um, shoot webs. That's basically what that's all about yeah. in my mind. He just couldn't perform, but still pretty good. I did like seeing J. Jonah Jameson in the. Costume. Oh my god, J. K. Simmons is still the best goddamn yeah. part of the Sam Raimi movies. A hundred percent. I agree. Oh I my fact, god! Yep. I just, I just pray, he he can make its way back into the MCU <laughs> or into Spider Man films. That's, well, that's you, all I want, man. Rumor has it. Did you hear a rumor? Is that who's gonna no. be playing JJ? No. <laughs> Ice Cube. You know what's so funny? I saw a fan casting like that, and I was like, "That's interesting." Like, I never thought of it, like, that way. Yeah. I didn't know if it was any basis of any rumors or anything like that. Yeah, no, I, I, I heard it. I'm super down for that. I'd be all right. I'd be, I'd be all right with that. But I kind of would like to see him do, like, the captain from the 21 Jump Street movies. I never saw those. Oh, my God. Just look it up on YouTube. Just, okay. like, Ice, I mean, Cube, Ice Cube, 21 yeah. Jump Street. I mean, I've Street. seen, like, Ice Cube do, like, skits with Conan and shit like that. Sure, and, yeah. Like, he can he can just swing, no pun intended, right into... Like, you know, every black man real quick. And then, yeah. like, just be very, like, oh, oh, oh. And everyone's, like, very apprehensive. So, like, I, I'm I'm okay with that casting. Definitely. Yeah. 100%. So, Spider-Man 2, a good, not great. I still like Homecoming the best. Yeah. A lot of people don't like Homecoming. Yeah. I don't, I don't really get it. I don't know if it's, like, the... I understand it's, like, the marvelization of these movies, of the comic book movie genre, mm-hmm. so it might take away a lot. It's more of like you know popcorn, uh, explosion movies, versus like a good story. But like that's how I view comic books. Like you know, like I, I understand you have some fucking killer storylines that that exist in that medium. But like for to entertain you for like two hours, like you kind of just want to shut your brain off. In my mind, One especially of... if guys run around in masks and capes. One of the main things about home, uh, Homecoming, which, mm-hmm. you know, is one, the the fact that Andrew Garfield got shafted. A lot of people feel. Uh, okay, fine. Also, the fact that... He was given a bit of a shit end, especially yeah. with Amazing Spider-Man Yes. Too. Also, the fact that... Take a fucking drink every time Peter takes his mask off. They, that that that's a comic book thing though. That's a comic that, no. book movie thing though now because it, it's you need to have, you need if someone's completely I covered up in their in the mask, like, you, you you can't relate to them. Sure, even but though coming you can, that, you like can. coming like coming from like you know, that was one one of my biggest issues, right. issues with Homecoming because like I've been reading Spider Man since I was a little kid, I, I, and you know, it's like, like dude. Put your fucking mask on, dude. Move I, that always that. Don't get me wrong. That bugs me with comic book movies too. But it's one of those gripes that I've kind of lived with because it's like, I get it. You're or else you're watching a CG character swing around and shit. Fun. At least you see the face. You're like, oh, okay, good. There's a person still there. Like, the, the, don't get me wrong. Captain America running around without his, without his helmet or whatever That's you want to call it. Well, I mean, because everyone yeah. knows who Steve Rogers right, but, is. But still, it was Tony like Tony Stark walking around with the face plate up. That's different, right? thing is with Spider-Man is he always guarded his identity. Right. To me, that takes something away from it. All right, so what about the train scene in Spider-Man 2? Same thing. Off? I hated that. I fucking hated that it scene. It was kind of... It was too Jesus-y. Yes, it was. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Um, I hated the fact that whole fucking train saw who fucking yeah, Spider-Man no one's got is. A, no one's got a flip phone back in 2002 or right? whatever. Like, oh, Seriously. A like, yeah, what, we're only walking around with papers? Text no. it to my buddy? Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. No, I'm 
text five five nine one one to the Daily Bugle. Certain characters should always have their masks on. I, I, I hear you. Spider Man is one of them. Batman is another. Uh, Those are to me two characters and Daredevil. Yeah. Those are three characters I feel that should always be wearing their masks when they're out on patrol. Okay. Movies or comics. Okay. Or television. It it is it, it it is like I said a gripe that I'm willing to subside only because it is a movie. It's going for a more lower common denominator, so you need to have that connection. Sure. You're not you're not listening to their thoughts. You're not seeing them do bullshit. You're watching. You're basically watching the highlight of a day or whatever, mm-hmm. a, a week in their life. So you need to be reminded, you know, of like, oh, okay, there's a man there, there's a boy mm-hmm. there, there's a woman there, there's someone there who looks like me or looks like a human and not sure. just I'm not watching a cartoon. But I want to go back to you saying that, like, you know, someone, you know, what. Wanting to relate to not just a CGI character right. swinging around. Right. Tony McGuire, that was not CGI at all. That suit was There's all CG. him. No, no, no. 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 The saying, suit was all him. Yeah, I know he was in the suit, but but if you just see a guy in a suit, what's stopping them from just being like, nah, we're, it's, just a, it's just a CGI right. thing. You know what? That's what I'm saying. You need to be... I feel like there needs to be a little bit of... You need to break that illusion mm-hmm. by having the person be seen. That's all I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not saying like that. That was that. Tom Holland did a couple flips. He's done stunts mm-hmm. I've seen in like Far From Home stuff coming up. I but I, he's not going to be. They're not going to be okay. Take 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 a rope and swing here, and we're just going to green screen it. Like no, that's going to be a, a computer graphic. I agree animation. with you. I agree with you, but I don't like it. Okay. At you all. don't like agree with me? No, that's I, fucked up. I, I I don't. Okay. I don't like it on this particular topic. I do not. I agree with you, but I don't like the fact that I'm agreeing with you. Okay. That's that's fair. I'll I'll choose that. Cool. Just cheers me. There you go. Alright, cool. I've also been <laughs> doing some more research. Oh. Uh-huh. Rewatching Spider Man, the animated series. Okay. Tom's getting real. No 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 no. You I'm not you get playing a Spider-Man. slight G pass right. on this one. Okay. You get a slight pass because I'm the motherfucker that bought you that. You did, you did, you did, you did. And I want to do a little research. I wanted to kind of delve into more of the Spider-Man rogues. I mean, okay. you were watching Batman the Animated Series, and I wanted to kind of go back into Spider-Man the Animated Series. So I've just been doing like a couple episodes a night. I uh, watched the, you know, the, the first whole season really kind of sets up his rogue gallery. Mm-hmm. You got the Lizard, Scorpion, the Spider Slayers, Mysterio, Hobgoblin... You got three episode um, Venom arc basically, which introduces yeah. Shocker and Rhino. You got Chameleon there, Doctor Octopus. So that's pretty much your season one right there, uh-huh. Kingpin, big one, obviously. Um, I only watched the first like five episodes, something like that. So, age. so the animation when it's good, mm-hmm. it's awesome. Right. So like the, the first episode, uh, the Night of the Lizard or whatever the fuck it's called, beautiful. Because, okay. obviously, nothing's reused. Right. The second episode, the Scorpion episode, there is one scene where spider Man swing... Excuse me. The Scorpion kind of jumps out of nowhere, grabs him, and swipes his web. Uh-huh. Okay? Sp- he, he, <laughs> he sp- Scorpion jumps from right to left, grabs him, boom. Two minutes later... They used the same exact clip, <laughs> slowed down to half speed, and he's jumping uh, from the left. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, don't like, That's like. That's hysterical. It was. It had to have been a very expensive cartoon to make. So sure. obviously, cuts must have been cost. Blah, corners must have been cut to keep down costs. Right. Cost. Tongue twist. Tongue twist. Tongue twist. Tongue twist. Oh my god. Oh boy. I need what, another beer. That's what you get with late night recording. Absolutely. Uh, tongue twisters abound. And, yeah, when some of the shit is, like, he's like, holy shit, like, this is bad. Yeah. Like, I remember even, like, watching it on, like, Fox Kids, and, like, every explosion scene was, like, a canned, like, oh, the hobgoblin threw a fucking pumpkin bomb. Uh Uh-huh. And you could even see, like, a split frame of, like, the pumpkin bomb exploding before Uh it was, like, anything. Like, it could have been a chemical fire, like, you see the pumpkin bomb or whatever like that. Like, it's, it's very noticeable, but... The fresh animation is so good. Yeah. Yes. If I remember correctly, don't the cops have, like, laser guns? 
I don't think I've gotten that far to actually I think see they that, but do. yes, that's I, that I, was the standards and practice thing for Fox or some shit. I don't know. The the dude that's probably who, why Batman anime series got the boot because they weren't going to change that. Well, I see. I don't know that there there was a lot of. I don't know if that was like a uh, old wives' tale or something like that. The dude who like kind of like screen wrote or helmed the entire series. I think his name is John Semter or something like that. Okay. He's on Facebook. I follow him. And he does have a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff, which is pretty cool. Like, if anyone remembers, the series kind of ended at a bit of a, like, a cliffhanger. Yeah. Like, basically Mary yes. Jane's floating through the multiverse or some bullshit. He actually had a script ready for, like, a final, final, final episode. Okay. So, and I know he was trying to kickstart to, like, get something, like, fan-animated or whatever. But I have a lot of love for that series. If it ever hits Blu-ray, I'm there in a heartbeat, man. Sure, yeah. And I hope it does. I hope, because I feel like Disney owns the TV rights to Spider-Man, because okay. there's a there is a concurrent Spider-Man cartoon, I believe, on Disney XD, or something like that. I think sure. it's just called, like, Marvel Spider-Man, or, or like, Web like Warriors, or some shit Yeah, like something that. like that. Yeah. Um, so, I really hope it gets the Blu-ray treatment, yeah. especially once all the Fox stuff is, because this was a Fox Kids show, uh-huh. so once that kind of just piddles out. Bring it in the Blu-ray, baby. You know what I'm waiting for? If X-Men? Yeah, Animated yeah, series? Yeah. yeah. X-Men, I feel, uh, that, that should be a slam dunk. Yeah, you want to talk about another thing that, like, that show ended kind of odd, too. Yeah, I remember, like, the last season was just, like... Professor so X weird. got, like, assassinated, and then he got taken away by the by Lalandra. Oh, boy. To go back to the Shi'ar. Oh, and, boy. And he's, like, giving, like, goodbye speeches. I have to go now. My home planet needs me. He's, like, giving goodbye speeches to, like, each X-Men, and you're just sitting there, and you're just like... You, man. Fuck you, I'm not crying. I liked Evolution better. Uh, Evolution was what, four seasons or something like that? Yeah. You have, you've got thoughts? I got thoughts. All yes. right, well, maybe we'll hang on to that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm still excited to get into it, and there's going to be some episodes that are like, oh, this is fucking cornball. Yeah. But, but, there you know, are, but there are some episodes where you're just like, fuck, I yeah. cannot believe they got away. Like, I can't believe, like... The Hydro Man episode, like how he's just trying to like kidnap and do horrible things to Mary Jane. Right. You, I'm just like, what the? F- how are you getting away with this? Actually, that was the last, the last episode I saw. Which yeah, it was the introduction of Mary Jane with the whole face attire you just said a jackpot. Like you yeah. know, the a lot of the send ups it gives to the classic comics, they hit it. They definitely hit it. Yeah. Case in point, I am also reading Spider Man: Origin of the Hobgoblin. Oh. Yeah. Some asshole got that. Yeah, something you. like that. Uh, <laughs> again, doing research. And I'm going to tell you this right now. How dare you. I did not at all get to the Hobgoblin shit. It's all just some boring bullshit Jason McIndale side story because he was apparently some sort of fashion designer or whatever like that. And then he turns into a crime boss. Whatever. I don't care. But it's important for the story. Okay. They, the, the way that this cartoon, and I'm going to say this to a, to a, and I didn't mention this before, how Tobey Maguire is Peter Parker to Aunt May, they did that well. Okay. Because it is more of a, I don't even know how to explain it, like like it is, it is, it is a older son mentality to an elderly mother, like it's it's that sort of relationship, as opposed to being like the Tom Holland, um, to hot Aunt May, to Marissa, Marissa Tomei, Tomei situation where it's just like it's almost like brother, he's old, there for like brother, the weekend or something sister. like that I guess but it's it, it's the age is a little weird I guess it makes sense because like he's a much younger Peter Parker she's a much younger Aunt May yeah <laughs> but you know what I mean like, like I feel like they got that relationship better especially in the animated series yeah yeah alright take it easy sorry um and that's all I've been watching and reading and shit like that I'm gonna read more of the Hobgoblin stuff mm-hmm. I am playing on the Switch I kind of dropped Smash Brothers because I wanted to play a little bit more of. Uh, well, there no are more other heroes. games out there. There are more games out there. You're right. I mean, when the new DLC hits, I'll, I'll take another look at it. I've been playing more of No More Heroes. Okay. Travis Strikes Back. Travis Strikes Again. Some shit like that. I don't know. Uh, the game is just so weird. It reminds me of this game that I played on the DS called Retro Game Something. I feel awful not remembering it. I feel awful watching your face just dissolve into, like, no memory. Wow, this is bad. I love this game so much. Have another sip. I'll have another sip. Have another sip. Have another sip. 
So, I know I, you've talked this game. Retro Game Challenge, thank you. Oh, thank you, beer. Hey, see? It's like, it's like Popeye spinach. <laughs> Your brain rolled up its sleeves. Here I am. I'm more social at parties now. Thank you. Yes, Tom. How can I assist you with this podcast we are doing currently? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Never mind. All right, so, cool. Travis Strikes Again. Yes. You like it? You don't like it? I'm digging it. Um, okay. It's just, got, it's just got some weird quirks about it that I don't really know what's going on. Um, it's, it's a Suda51 game, that, so he did the No More Heroes games and fucking a, a bunch of other wacky shit. I'm not even gonna get into it. Okay. Um, he's just running around with a lightsaber, and it's like these, every level is a different type of style of video game. Sure. One, it was like kind of like this crazy Pac-Man level, where this ghost skull head kept trying to eat me. This other one, I'm in a mansion trying to like collect donuts and coffee. Like, Doesn't it sound just, like you're enjoying it too much. It's just bizarre, but it's like, I can I can play it on the train, and it's like, it's zone, like there's a certain level of zoning out that I'm okay with, you know okay, what I mean? Okay, sure. Like, it's just mindless like that. There's some platforming in it, and it's garbage. It's not supposed to be like that. Okay. It's just run around, slice people up, and, and do some uh, suplexes to people. Sure. But I like the style. I like the atmosphere, I guess you would say, because it's bonkers as hell. Like, it, okay. it is very, it is very, definitely like a Tarantino doing Grindhouse movies vibe to this stuff. Like, it's just hmm. like, you just look at like, huh, okay, we're doing this now. Interesting. Yeah. I okay. guess, I, this guy probably thinks he's like the Tarantino of the video game industry. Hmm. Yeah. Like, he can just be like, oh, I'm gonna go into this genre now, and I'm gonna like, go into this one, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what I've been up to. Cool. Now, uh, can I ask you what you've been up to? Sure. All right. Hey, Tom, what have you been up to? Well, let me tell you, Mean Gene. Oh. I've been rewatching WrestleManias up to the current. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I started from 10. I'm going to go 10. Ooh, to okay. The That's probably yeah. a good time it's a good jump. to start. It's what I've been up to. Really, I haven't gotten into too much because other sort of things. But we will be talking about that more in a future episode uh, special coming up. Ooh, excellent. Yes. Excellent, so, but excellent. Yeah, very cool. Uh, it's still, I, as much as I shit on Bret Hart and Owen Hart, their match at 10 is still good. Cage match, right? No. Oh, no. That's Summer Cage Slam. match SummerSlam, yep. Yes. Uh, the Razor Ramon Shawn Michaels match at 10 is good. I yep. think I, I've left off with 12. I'm past the whole Kogan bullshit being involved in every yep, fucking sure main event. So that's kind of why I did that. Wasn't 12 Bam Bam and... Uh, Bam Bam and Lawrence Taylor. Right, yes. Okay. Yeah. I think I left what off... What the fuck was 11 then? Michael's Diesel? Yes. Wow. With Pam that's Anderson good. and uh, Jenny McCarthy coming Was down. that a boyhood? That was when he first won the title, right? Uh, did he win? No, he didn't win. He did not win that because Diesel had both girls on his arm. When the, the fuck pen. did a boyhood dream? I just speak of, wasn't that eleven? Might have been twelve. Oh, I'm thinking. Uh, I was getting eleven and twelve confused. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, eleven. I think was yeah, the it's one. It's very he... cool. Um, you know, ride, plus plus eighties wrestling. Man, I need like nine cups of coffee. Well, I mean, it's getting to the end of that, right? It has to be in the nineties now. Sorry. Oh yeah, no, it is. Yeah. That's why I skipped oh, to ten. Oh, smart. Because ten, I think, was in ninety. No, it couldn't have been, because 2000 was 2000, and that was 16. Right, so right, yeah. it must yeah. have been like 88. 10, no. Math is Math. failing. Yeah, me. drink another beer. Uh, there we go, here we go, Popeye. Popeye coming with his brain. Da -da 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 -da. Um, no, that had to have been 94. Yes, that sounds actually right. <laughs> It does. No, because I believe the first WrestleMania was 1984. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Look at that. Beer. I, who says alcohol's bad for you? Miller High Life gives, Premium Brewed. It established gives, 1903. Yeah, it, gives, it, it gives you brain power. So that's what I've been up to. We'll talk cool. about it, that more cool. in coming up specials. More in coming up specials, yep. This past weekend I went to go see one of the worst... Indie wrestling shows I've oh, ever been yes. to. Tell us about this. I went to go see House Dish, of Glory. Girlfriend. It was horrible. Like, 
The rope the ropes broke twice in the middle of matches. Wow. How what match did they even get to? The first match? Did they not even get through the first match? They got through the second match. Okay. And then they got and then they, you know, they're out there the ring crew's out there and it's being held up for like forty five minutes to show. Oh boy. Forty five minutes? That's really? what it felt Damn. like that. But then again I was drinking since noon. Oh, okay, cool. So cool. Which Way to be. Sidebar on that was we, me and the crew that I went with, we go to Miller's Ale House. Yep. So I go, I, the waitress comes over, and I was like, you're Miller's. Do you have Miller High Life? They did not have Miller High what? Life. What? <laughs> so, yeah, I got, I, I, we got, I, we got to talk to our boys. I got, I, I, I got guff for that because they were like, wow, you came off like an asshole. I was like, I don't think I did, but I whatever. Miller's fucking Ale House. We I, have Miller fucking everything on yeah, top. Yeah, yeah. So I got Miller Lake. I was all right. So then they're sitting there, you know, fixing the ring ropes, and fucking, they start duct taping shit. And I was like, that's not gonna hold, huh? Middle of a match, guy's up on the top rope, fucking ropes give out, except for the middle rope. He catches himself on the middle rope, and he jumps off of it. Wow. I was like, alright, cool. They managed to get brand new ropes. I was like, you probably should have tested those before the show fucking started. Sure. Uh, fuck you, House of Glory. I will never go to another show. So what were your highlights? Of I got the... to meet Pentagon Jr. Okay, cool. That He's a really cool guy. Uh, not buying not, his not mask for $200. Okay. <laughs> uh, that, 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 he, t- he ended up teaming with Sammy Callahan. All right. Your unfortunately. Because <laughs> his telling. brother Ray Phoenix suffered a stinger the night before. Okay, what exactly is a stinger? Like a fucking concussion? Ah, like uh, yeah, he took a pile driver wrong. Okay, yeah, hmm. or was given okay. up. Po- kind of like what happened to Austin with Oof. Owen Hart. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, gotcha. That's a, essentially a stinger. Right. Uh, that is a fucking crippling position to be in. I feel like a stinger is just like you get like the, clocked. A stinger is legitimately like you get like it's it, it on could your be head. that or you, like I know uh, Enzo suffered a stinger when he when when he ate the bottom rope. Daniel Bryan did, got one too in yep. one match between him and Orton. Yeah, when he did a suicide dive out 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 the fucking ring. Right, yeah, out stuff the called a yeah. fucking suicide dive. Yeah, what a don't, shock! Don't do those. Yeah, uh, <laughs> please don't. I yeah, that's what. Any more highlights or? Any good matches or something like that? Anyone to keep your eye on? Jordan Grace. Brother. She's pretty good. Okay. She's this tiny little thing. She's a, she's like a little fucking bruiser. Okay. Um, was it? Amazing Red was... he? Oh, he Amazing he's Red's heel cool. now. What's his company? Well, all right. Uh, he's wearing a mask now. Hmm. Huh. Uh, Anthony Gangon, he's pretty good. He, Who? He's their champion. Oh, okay. Uh, he comes out in like a golden uh, Guy Fox mask. Okay. Who is he wrestling? Any names? Any other names it tied was, to this? Uh, uh, L- LAX. Current right. LAX. From, current, from, yeah, from Impact Wrestling. Yeah, from Impact. Okay. They were pre- They actually wrestled Sammy and Pentagon. All right, all right. Yeah, nothing notable. Okay. I mean, it was a good time. I, yeah, good time with good people. Awesome. Spent way too much fucking money. <laughs> On drinks. Yes. Did you buy anything? Did you buy an umbrella a, or anything I, like that? I bought a shirt. All I right, bought a cool. Lucha Brothers shirt. All right. So I was not going to buy a $200 Pentagon Junior mask. Yeah, definitely not. Because, yeah. I mean, you definitely... You actually talked me out of that one. Did I? You were like, don't do it. Yeah, don't. I was drunk, too. Don't do it. Yeah. It was bad. News. Smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's too much to spend for a mask that you can't even guarantee that would fit. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Yep. I finished The Stand uh, by Stephen King. Was- I was start. I started it. Ooh! I finished it this week. Very good. Uh very cool. Uh did you, you you watched the movie, right? The miniseries, yeah, I yeah. watched that. Yeah. They 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 do hit a lot of those uh, hot points. Uh, okay. Like in the, uh, you know, in the, uh, in, you know, from the book and in the movie. I am looking forward to the new one that's coming out on CBS All Access that right, I talked right, about right, last right. episode. Uh, and... Got got.
Game of Thrones talk. Um, I'm in the season three of our re- rewatch. Yes. My girlfriend and I. You are... I have one episode of season two left. I okay. just finished uh, the Battle of Blackwater Bay. Ooh, that is a good episode. A that is, for the one. longest time, my girlfriend's favorite episode. Okay. Like, that would be her go-to. Like, she would rewatch. She's probably seen that episode more often than any other Until episode. what? What took it? I don't really know. I asked her about it when we watched it, mm-hmm. and she didn't even know. She had right. one of those things that like, she's got to get to it again to be like, oh, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, episode. yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but that's such a good episode, man. It is. Like, it really is. That fucking episode made me... Like, I'm watching the show, and I'm like, I'm not I'm not into high fantasy. Like, you know, the Tolkien right. stuff, Elder Scrolls, like, I don't give a shit about. But, like, this, like, I fucking love. When someone mentions the Summer Isles, I'm like, what are the Summer Isles? Tell me all about the Summer Isles. Like, it's never sure. mentioned again! But sure. it's like, tell me all about it, right. please. I want to know more. I want to know more about the Dothraki religion and their sure. culture and, like... The old gods, uh-huh. and, like you, know, I want, I want to know more of this stuff, and it's there because like this fiction existed for and you just have to read decades, it. and I just have to go to a Wikipedia page and find out. I mean, <laughs> shit, Tom, come on now, um, uh. but like I love that shit, and like so, so getting into like like the rewatch in season two, and like the the War of the Five Kings is is starting to really pick up. Yep, Renly gets killed. Yep. Stannis goes all in, the Battle of Blackwater, gets smoked, yep. no pun intended. And like, just like shit like that, you know what, like, you know what it reminds me of? Not what it reminds me of, but I want, I want a Star Wars movie like this. Mm-hmm. Like, I want a war movie. That's why I loved Rogue One, because it's like, there's more to... Than space magic. It's more than space magic. Yeah, it's a war. Yeah, you can fight shit. You can be like, "Oh, I'm worried about this war." Me too. Sure. This is gonna change our whole life. But hey, it's for the common good. Oh, is it? I don't know. Yeah. And then a Tie Fighter. You know, <laughs> like just <laughs> give me that shit. Uh, my highlights for season two so far uh-huh. is. Tywin and Arya's relationship. Tywin is so fucking good. I forget. He's so I good at being bad. God, how good but he is. But I love he is that so relationship. Evil. Love it, but between him and Arya. I mean, it, it's a fine relationship. It's you a know. nice, like, like, uh, ten. It's definitely yeah. Tense. Well, like when Littlefinger comes in. I fucking hate. Littlefinger. You're like fuck, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, that when and when uh when fucking uh what the hell do you call it? Oh, Bron. 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 My yep. boy. Uh, when Cersei is in the, uh, when Cersei's in the, uh, yeah, buddy. not the keep, but like that little hidey hole with all like the ladies and, oh, and Tomlin. Oh, Blackwater? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like just how she's getting hammered and just like. Oh yeah, it's so funny. Yeah, fucking like, just talking down to everybody. Yeah, it's funny because like that scene, that scene is like, you know Cersei's drinking some strong shit because she's oh, yeah. been whining since 12, I bet. Exactly. And like, she's just giving like Sansa like, here, have this. Like, yep. drink this. And like, Sansa should be on her fucking ass. Sure. Like, like done. Of course, you have uh, John uh, with regret. Uh, yep. Not with regret, but like, he's like, with, yeah, now he's with, with, with the, the Wildlings. Uh, yeah, he's yeah. with the Wildlings with uh Half hand. Uh, that's the yeah. other. That's the For other now. night white. Yes. Spoiler. Spoiler. Alert. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that that and you. I love it during the Battle of Blackwater when the hounds just like. Oh my god. Fuck the king. Fuck the town. I was just like, yes. Fuck the king's god. And fuck the king. Fuck the king. Was great. Yeah, it was oh great. Uh, I forget how good the Hound is too, because like he's been kind of he's been absent a couple of seasons, and mm-hmm. you know the Mountain was kind of like the big, the, and the they big, the big act- guy. And they changed the actor of the Mountain too. Oh yeah, this is the net- we're up now the second Mountain actor. Well, the, the, first, first, the first one you don't see his well, face yeah, at all. Yeah, but I mean it's still a different guy. Yeah, you see him at Harren Hall. Or right. no, you see him at the at the you see at him the, at the at joust. The, at the joust. Yep. Then you see him at Harren Hall. Yep. And now you're gonna see him. Well, then ready you for see, and then four. well, yeah, then you see him in season four, and yeah. then I think that's the actor who is portraying, yeah, who's going to be portraying like, yeah. him until the yeah, end. Yeah, 
who killed the uh, Bud Light Knight. You know? Yes, that was right? Fuck you, Bud Light. Miller awesome. all the way, baby. Damn right. Clink it up. Woo! The Champagne of Beers, established 1903. <laughs> what else happens in this season? A ton of shit, man. No one died. So no one, like, super dies. No one, yeah, no one, I mean, like, I mean, I mean la- that one Lannister cousin dies. That, right. That Jamie strangles. No, he yes. wasn't a Lannister cousin. Yes, he was. Oh, yes, he was. I'm sorry. He and was. then he killed the Car Stark. He yep. kills the Car Stark, right. and then the Car Stark wants to kill Jamie. Yep. And then um, Catelyn lets him go. Yep. Rob. Uh, Rob does not like that. That and Rob decides to uh, break his vow to the phrase. Okay. We'll no, t- we'll talk about that next season. The vow, because for the red wedding, we'll talk about it. Then. Sure. Okay. Hey. Carl Drogo dies. We haven't talked about that until last episode. Yeah. Because I wasn't into that. You Do you think it was the witch? Do you think it was that lady doing it because she was a witch? Or do you think no, he she just got festered and poisoned? So you think the same I way as my got, girlfriend. I think it got poisoned and it went into his heart and it just, it I, fucked I his. I think she was a fucking witch and she did that despite yeah, him. She totally, she was a witch, but I think it festered. Do you think she tried to save him 100%? I don't think she gave it all her all. Let okay. me put it that way. Okay, because that that's been that was the bait. I kind I kind of feel like if she if she was as powerful as a, a, of a witch as she said she was, okay, she would have been able to save his ass. I agree. Um, she didn't give it his all her all, and that's why the wound festered and killed him. Right. Yeah. No. The, you that, think it's that that or? the wound, I think it was she's a fucking witch. The wound killed him. Uh, uh, yeah. Plain and simple. No matter how you cut it, the wound killed him. I don't know, she sucks. Theon kills those the two random farm boys. Yep, that is true. It's like, you know what, Theon? You get everything you deserve. Theon, his whole storyline declines when he... <sighs> Gets his dick cut off. No, when he finger bangs his sister. Yeah. That's pretty much, like, his turn. Like, oh, Theon... You're a piece you of scum. You went... The wrong way. Yeah, yeah. And season three only gets better for you, Theon. Don't you worry. And then he gets sympathetic again because Ramsay Bolton is a motherfucking bastard and I love him so much. But who would you rather have as a king? Ramsay or Joffrey? Hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's you, like, know, you know what's weird? Like I, I It's like, like do I want gonorrhea or AIDS? Hmm. I with the whole thing with Joffrey is because like I I forget how he was. Because he was such a... Oh, I don't he's even such a weasel. He is a weasel. But, like, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's basically just, like... He's like a kid with a magnifying glass and everyone is a bunch of ants. Yeah. Like, that's how he is. And Cersei has even said that, too. Yeah. So, like... And I forget that. Because yeah. he's been away from the series. Yeah. Post-episode... Uh, season four. Yeah. So, the would I rather... Wedding. Yeah. Uh, yeah... Yeah, they're both fucking lunatics. They're horrible. But they're different kind of lunatics, obviously. Yeah. Like he Joffrey's more sociopath. Okay. Like, dude, what he does to Roz. Yeah. Poor Roz, man. I feel so bad for he, her. He just does some fucking shit, man. Yeah. Yeah. But Ramsey, I mean Ramsey's a, Ramsey fucking I mean Ramsey mutilates does, Theon. I, kills his father. Kills, kills his stepmother, his stepmother and, and baby. his step and, 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 brother. And, yeah, half brother. Half brother, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you know? Yeah, Ramsey. Yeah, yeah I don't think I would want Ramsey. Because Joffrey, I feel, you could outsmart. You I could outsmart so. Joffrey. Well, you think you could. And then he'd just be like, I'm the king and do shit. Yeah, but you know what I. <laughs> yeah, but you, you just treat him the way Tyrion treats him. I love how you get you got a, that. Man. I love how yeah. you get Tyrion slaps Joffrey once every season. That Joffrey's alive. He definitely does. So he's obviously slapped him in Winterfell. Yep. He slaps him at King's Landing. Right. And I don't remember where he slaps He'll him. He'll probably in, be another slap. In episode. I'd he slaps him before he dies. See, uh, as well. Tyrion, though, this season, or the season I'm in, number, uh-huh. th- in number three. Where are you up? We are up to... What was the last big thing that happened? Um, oh, boy. 
season three, season three, because this is early season three, so like things are kind of going down. The Hound is caught by the uh, Brotherhood without banners. Okay. So the Hound is now traveling basically with Arya. Okay. Which then that spins off. Um, the uh, Melisandre is on the lookout for Gendry. Or someone to bring fire back to Stannis, the Ugh, Lord of Light. Fucking um, Melisandre. Rob was at the f- at River Run for the funeral for his grandfather. Okay. Which they really don't fully go into. Like that's a but really that's big fine. thing in the book. You know books. what I mean? Like that's fine. I know, I know, but it's and, re- and I'm again talking about the show completely as a viewer and right. not a reader. Because y- your girlfriend read the books, yes. right? Yes. All of them, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. Her, um, her, her and I may have to do an episode comparison of books. Oh, sure, 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 sure. <laughs> uh, Daenerys is, is like, the next episode going to get the Unsullied, which is a fucking badass Okay, scene. so, I, okay, because so I think... So she's in Astapor. Yes, because I think in... Because she's selling uh, Karth. Fuck Karth. And if I remember, episode 10 is where Drago... Drago, right? No, Rago, right? Even Drago, yep. No, the black dragon. What the fuck? The fool gives a shit. Rhaegar. Blackie. Yeah, I think Rhaegar. Yeah. Doesn't he set toothless? Uh, he kill. Doesn't he set the uh, bull dude on fire? I think that happens in the next episode. I'm about to say. Okay. I don't think it's like. Oh, a so she's still in Karth. No, 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 no. Wait. What? You're getting your oh, you're getting your three I'm in Karth. You're getting your three towns confused. You got Karth, right? Which is the fucking warlock temple. Right, 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 right. Do, do, doesn't. No. Oh, yeah, get... no, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, like dude. Like, little spitballs, yeah. It doesn't... still sets the motherfucker on fire. I'm talking about in Karth. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. in Astapor. Oh, where she goes, where... Jagaris. Yeah. Yeah, that that's shit what I'm talking badass. about. badass. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Because he is a bald dude, so there you go. Mm-hmm. That's why I got confused. Um, a lot of bald guys. A lot of bald guys. Maureen is the next one where she becomes, like, kind of the queen of that. Maureen. For a Maureen's of rough, seasons. man. It is, but it gets cool. Uh, but, yeah, there's... Astapor is another... Part where I suppose where she gets the unsullied, and another um, her uh, attempt on her life is taken. Yes, that's where um, Barris and Selmy comes back into play. Who yes. I love again, man. This fucking lore, I love it. I know, I love it. We can keep talking about Game of Thrones yeah. all day. Well, maybe we will, future, Ooh. but not today because we are talking about Spider Man rogues. Another Spider-Man yeah, we're back episode? Yeah, we're back on our Spider-Man bullshit, man. We never left that Spider-Man we bullshit. We did never left this. So this kind of stemmed from just, like, villains <coughs> villains just being underrated, underutilized, or whatever. You had your big ones. You got your Venoms, your Dr. Octopuses. Green your Goblins. Green Goblins. And we wanted to kind of delve into more of them. But then, I mean, obviously we got to talk about them all. Because sure. we got it, we got it, we got it. Because a hero is nothing without his rogues. Oh, that was good. I like that. Where do you want to start, Tom? Shoot, throw one out there. We will throw... Let's let's start at the bottom. Okay. Under the streets of New York. Okay. Vermin. Vermin. All right, yeah, this poor bastard. Like, I only know him as a side character from uh, Fearful Symmetry, a.k.a. Craven's Last Hunt. Okay, yep, yep. He's just basically this dude who got transformed into a rat. And yeah. he basically he can't control his urges himself. Yeah, you know what I mean. Right. It's almost like in, he's like a werewolf, but stuck in wolf form. Sure. Yeah. Yes. Yep. You know what I mean. And he's a rat, so it kind of sucks. But I mean, whatever. I think he's dead. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, like it's an I, interesting thing. Again, only saw him in Craven's Last Hunt. Mm-hmm. I know he like he had a hang up because like Spider Man didn't beat him by himself. He right, had help by Captain, Captain America. America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, that was always kind of, like, his hang-up. And I know, like, he went after Craven because yep. Craven's running. Craven thinks he's the big dick all of a sudden. Right, and he's yeah. running around in the black he shot Spider-Man, costume. point blank. Yeah. With a trank. Spoiler alert. It's been out for 20 years. 20 years too late. Read a book. Read a book, motherfuckers. Um, you thought that was going to go different, didn't you? A little bit, yeah. I'm going to talk about Scorpion. Okay. Scorpion, uh, Matt Gargan. Kind of a punk. Kind of a bitch ass. Uh-huh. Uh, I mean, kind of gets a lucky break with the Venom symbiote. Yes, but let's not forget 
why he is in the Scorpion outfit to begin with. Why is that? Is because J. Jonah Jameson oh, paid yeah. for him yes, right. to have that shit, pretty, I believe, fused to him, yeah. more or less, yeah. so he can go and take out Spider-Man. Yeah. So he's literally, he's a hitman for Jameson. Right. Yes. Which is fucked up. And then when it doesn't go his way, he goes after Jameson. And then, of course, right. Spider-Man has to rescue Jameson then. And then Jameson ends up getting, like, the, the Spider Slayer robots. Yep. You know what I'm talking about. The uh, the fucking robot face. The television face. Uh-huh. And, you know, he's a robot. Yeah, it's so... The, the, when they tried to make Sp- J. Jonah Jameson, like, so uh, personally infuriated with Spider-Man. Well, that, like, Spider Island, proven point with that. When he got turned mm-hmm. into a spider well, and he just, yeah. and and the queen just kind of, like, fed off of that and went after Spider-Man. Right. So. You know you know what's weird? In, actually, that Scorpion episode of the animated series of Spider-Man. Uh-huh. They show, like, a 20-second clip of, like, J. Jonah St. Jameson's origin story. And like, yeah, it, it, you're like right. this weird thing where it's like Spider Man, because he felt like he was being attacked, so he went up, he tried to s- rattle Jameson's cage, and mm-hmm. he said like, like get your nose out of my business or something like that. Yeah. And apparently, the last time he was told by that, he was like trying to get a scoop, and then his wife gets into a car accident. So like, yeah, it was like, huh, huh, okay, wow, this is a this is something for a Saturday cartoon, but yeah. whatever. The yeah, bowl of Fruit Loops. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, oh god, this guy's uh, wife got killed. <clears throat> but oh well, oh well. Yum 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 yum. Give me some golden grams, mom. Right. Something I was interested in is um, looking at characters getting their their their. I guess they're just due. Like they they're get rest, We're gonna use some wrestling terms. Getting a push. Okay. I feel like Craven getting Craven's Last Hunt. That's his fucking push. He was yes. a brony to begin with. He gets this, and he's 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 a upper. Middle card guy now. Yeah, you know what I mean. He becomes less of a jab- a jabron when he starts wearing pants. <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> is that also a wrestling thing, or is this a legit? Kind of. Car- oh, okay, gotcha. Well, no, kind of. Like, I mean, it's like, dude, when he was just running around in the loincloth with like the yeah, speedos it's, it's underneath. Corny. It's like, dude, dude too much, too much. Like, I know these cartoons. Wow, I know these comics came out in the same like time period as the Batman cartoon. Uh huh. Oh my God! The Bat- Batman television show. I'm just going. I'm just following you, man. That's fine. You're just leaving me down. Follow me dark. for the ride, baby. I'm gonna. Yeah. Oh, we're going right. No, we're going left. Okay, cool. Who wants to go through a cactus patch? That's exactly how I view like characters like Craven uh-huh. and fucking um, Mysterio and Electro. It's just okay. like it's just like. Well, how about this man is magical? How about this man is a a, a crazy hunter? How about this man? But the thing is, was, he wasn't just he, a crazy hunter. No, I he know He was also that. a scientist. Yes. Which they delve, which they do delve into. Right, and they have attributes like that. Yeah, but it's like when you're looking at it at a, at a face value, it's just like, sure. what? Uh, oh, this man's in a scorpion suit? And they call him the scorpion? Huh, okay. Yeah. This man's in a rhino suit? Yeah. And they call him the rhino? That rhino, man. <laughs> rhino is... Like, have you ever... Like, yeah, there's one comic where he gives up the life. Okay. Like he, and some and like he settles down with a girl, and someone's like trying to like pretty much take Rhino out. Okay. And Spider Man's like, dude, you got you, you got to put the suit back on. You got to right. get back in the game, otherwise your girl's gonna die. Girl ends up dying anyway. Hmm. Of course, Rhino blames sure, him. Yeah. Of course, sure. <laughs> because you know Spider Man talks him into putting the suit back on. Right. And the guy, I don't, I don't remember who the villain was, or it could have just been like some fucking some hammerhead assassin. Right, yeah. Hammerhead's another mm. meathead. He, does, he has a head of meat. Yep. Yeah. Um. So yeah, like, and then of course he blames Spider Man. Yeah. So it's like, wow, Spider Man kind of just created one of his recreated one of his own villains. I always dig that because, like, I feel like a lot of the earlier Spider Man rogues had no motivation as opposed to being like, I hate Spider-Man. Sure. Like, that's it. Or, or J. Jo- J. He, Joe or J. Jameson. He hates hate Spider-Man, hate so therefore Spider-Man. I hate him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I get it. Um, so a lot of them need a bit more of a redirect. Sure. And more of a refresh. Um, a good point would be, I, I was looking up some Electro stories. Okay. And, like, 
they made Electro, they kind of leaned into more of Electro being a fucking loser. Okay. And therefore, that was his motivation. Like, mm-hmm. he needed to be, like, I mean, as, as far as, like, baseline power level, like, I feel like he's pr- pretty powerful. So kind of like how of... Jamie Foxx was in Amazing Spider-Man 2. Exactly, yes. Like, from I, reading up more about it, he actually had a pretty accurate portrayal yeah. because he was a nerd who got a bunch of power. And he, uh, he could fucking d- devastate... Probably the entire city. Absolutely. Easily. E- yeah. Easily. Or the whole, you know... He's a dummy, and he doesn't do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he at a, as, a, as far as the Sinister Six, the power level goes, he's the strongest one, 100%. He, totally. Definitely I, not I, the I, smartest. 100% yeah. not the smartest. No. Especially well, that's fucking, why he has guys Sandman like... Sandman and Doc Ock, but like... Well, Sandman ain't smart. I don't put Sandman... Sand no. no. Sandman and Mysterio, if anything. What? And Craven. Smartest? Dr. Octopus. No, 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 I'm saying, like, out of the Sinister Six, you got uh-huh. Dr. Octopus, Craven, and Mysterio, I would say. Gotcha. Oh, the and three the other smartest. side would be Electro, Electro, Dumbest, Sandman, Not Smart. Correct. And, oh my fucking God. Wow. Uh, oh my God, this is a shame. Scorpion? No. No. Dr. Well, Octopus. Uh, I, 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 I'm... I see, Vulture. Thank you. Vulture ain't that smart. I see, He's an old man. Because I see the figures on, yeah, exactly, on my yeah. wall, and I'm like, shit. Holy moly. Wow. Holy. Whew, brain power. Vulture, the life theft little saga. I where he, yeah. rege- he gets a little bit I of regenerative I would have liked power. to see that in Homecoming more. That would be fucking interesting. That would be That twisted. would be dark. That would be dark. They, that led to a cool chameleon story. Yeah. suit. That was right before the second clone saga. Yep. So. <laughs> um, which, obviously, the jackal. 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 See, it's a jackal. man, Spider-Man Rogue is so cool. Like, it's just like, I, we, need the, we need a new story. Like, oh, well, this character is kind of sitting on the bench. Let's, ha- yeah. let's incorporate him. And how is Spider-Man going to deal with that? But it's not always Spider-Man just going to be like, oh, Mysterio caught me in a, a, a mirror room. I'm going to punch through it. Like, right. it's always something different. So that's pretty cool. Who are, so, the movie, so, Nation, we did a poll of underrated Spider-Man villains. We did. We did. But we didn't include anyone from any movie. Correct. Which included the animated movie into the Uh Spider-Verse. Because that had Tombstone and Scorpion and stuff like that. Obviously, Venom, Doctor Octopus, and Green Goblin notwithstanding. Mm Mm-hmm. Who do you want them to take another look at? So I'm talking about Sandman, Lizard, Electro, Rhino, Vulture. Do you feel well, like any of those MC other? already did Vulture. No, I know that, but I'm saying like, uh, yeah, and I guess because that's kind of like the new canon going forward, that doesn't count. So who would you want to like? Do you think? I mean, I feel like the Lizard didn't get that good of a shake. I feel like. Peter Parker. <laughs> Say. Um, You're a spider. I feel like Electro's too current uh, to get a n- new shake, especially this soon. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like they could probably throw the rhino in. How they did the rhino? Paul Giamatti. <laughs> oh my god, Tom's face. <laughs> So. Having a dude in a giant rhino suit, a rhino mech, Makes is sense. exactly how I would picture them doing sure. a rhino in but the, the new fuck. millennium. God. Yeah, no, that was bad. Man, that was I don't bad. get... I, see, that's what I don't get, man. Amazing Spider-Man was... S- Amazing Spider-Man, the first one, was so fucking good. Was it? I, lo- I love that. That's one of my favorite Spider-Man I movies. I do... You know what? Amazing that, Spider-Man... I've, to actually have having the balls to do all the Stacy stuff, yeah, I dig. Yeah, having Captain Stacy die in the first one, Gwen in the second, I dig that. She snapped before it was cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Dumb whore. There uh, it is. There it is. But like, where the fuck was I going with this? Amazing uh, Spider Man. How that was so good. It really was. And how I'm guessing Amazing Spider Man Two was just such a letdown. So bad. Right. Because I remember us watching Amazing Spider-Man 2 oh in theater. Oh, my God, man. And you and I... It, it's very rare that... I don't even know why I didn't see Amazing Spider-Man in theaters, the first one. I, mean, you, I love Spider-Man. We probably weren't hanging out as much. That's that's fair. 
Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I was working. I don't I, I don't know. I don't know. But like it's very rare when when Sherman and I go to movies together that we're both just sitting there like oh like everything this is they did bad. was bad. Like everything they did was wrong. Except for the except for Gwen Stacy dying. Like they did that even very that, well. Even that was eh. How it was set up was garbage. Yeah. But how it was executed was like wow, alright, they did it. Fuck that kid playing who played the oh, Green Goblin. God, yeah. Whoever the hell he is. Oh god, yeah. Into obscurity. That was bad. That really was. What villains do I would would I like to see right, re looked yeah. at? Well, okay, so a- out of those, do you feel that like do you think Sandman got handled well? Do you think I think the actor they got was awesome. Oh yeah, I agree. How we were talking about Thomas it last Hayden time. Church, man. Yeah, how, how we were talking about it last time how like we're in the same shirt. everyone hated how Green Goblin looked. Yeah. And now you have a basically comic accurate Sandman the entire time. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like that was definitely a reaction to that criticism. Yeah. How you had Venom look like that is beyond me. But again to this day I always thought Topher Grace was a good anti Toby Maguire. Mm-hmm. Which is kind of the whole point. Absolutely, because that's kind of because they were, and I've said this before. They were they were going for the ultimate universe look. Was it because, ultimate universe a thing? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Because they were about the same build. Yeah. In the ultimate universe, yeah. you know, in six one six. Oh, yes. you mean Brock and Peter? Brock and yes, Peter. Yes, 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 yes. Were the same, and they were like childhood best friends, apparently. Right. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, Brock and Peter in 616. Not the same size. No. He was built like a brick shit house. Yeah, exactly. I don't know who I would like to see. Out who of those you, ones? Uh, Craven notwithstanding, who would you like to see? Obviously, Mysterio's coming up. And Craven. to be portrayed in a movie. Who would you? So I could think on it. See. Oh, you dick. I thought you had an answer. <laughs> I mean, I would definitely like to see a more accurate Green Goblin first. I love the Hobgoblin, you know that, but like, I don't feel like they could really do that well. Sure. I feel like you definitely need to... Here's my idea. Definitely, you, yeah, I feel like you got to introduce Norman Osborn coming up. Uh, Norman Osborn has the potential to be the next big bad in MCU. Mm-hmm. Get Brian Cr- Cranston, whatever. Um... He could play Green Goblin. I think that'd be cool. Who do I want to see, though? I mean, I've always thought... We were talking about it because you love... You would want to see Craven. Absolutely. I feel like you can not You can do Craven without Chameleon, but why not? Throw Chameleon in the mix. Yeah. You know what? That'd be cool, too. Um, mm, how did I... Why could I... Why did I ask this without having an answer for myself? Seriously, I'm still thinking... Who do I, I like? I there's just so many. Uh, He's got good rogues, and even like rogues that like they made Sandman basically a focal point for Spider Man Three. They made Electro yeah. a focal point for Amazing Spider Man Two. They made Vulture a focal point for Homecoming. Like these are villains that they were able to not necessarily find motivation for, but highlight motivation for. Yeah, and make them like not fucking jokes. No. Like, could you imagine an X Men movie where the villain was Arcade, or something like that, or just a hundred percent the Juggernaut? Like, no, you can't. But they can make it work. Yeah, you know what I mean. See, you sent me that picture of like all of his rogues in like a courtroom, mm-hmm. and I'm trying to picture them, but all I can see is like Morbius, Kingpin, Doctor Octopus. Dude, K- if like... Vincent D'Onofrio wanted to become Kingpin. In the full Marvel t- Cinematic Universe full proper, time. Yeah. I would dig that. That would be my jam! <laughs> I think that'd be really cool to have a young Peter Parker, mm-hmm. unfortunately in the mix of the New York crime syndicate. You know okay. what I mean? So to do that, you have Kingpin. We brought this up in the poll. Having like spider slayers, that could be an interesting. That would be thing cool to have Smythe or whatever, Alistair or Spencer, kind of manipulating the spider slayers around. That could be interesting. Justin Hammer. 
Justin Hammer is... Oh, they already did Justin yeah. Hammer in the MCU. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. Yeah, man, come on. All right, calm down. Uh, honestly, I would love to see... And I'm spitballing here All right, right spitball. Go ahead, spitball right at me. Jack-o'-lantern. Oh, God. No, I, I Why would, would like... Why would you say I, that? Huh? Why would you say that? I... Hammerhead. I don't think Hammerhead is a good on his own villain. Right. I feel like, oh my god, I'm thinking about it right now. Okay. Have Kingpin. Yep. Vincent Nafrio. Yep. Kingpin. You got Hammerhead. You got Tombstone. You bring in Black Cat. So then that introduces another hero on Spider Man's side. Well, yeah. yeah. I dig it. Yeah, done. I dig that. Done. Um. I've always liked Hammerhead. And then you can have like you can have grunts like a scorpion or like a jack o' lantern. Mm-hmm. Kind of like who are like a more superpower crime focused person against Spider Man. Uh-huh. Instead of a guy who just runs around and slams his head into people. And he can fly on a I think it's like hops or some shit. I don't know. Jack o' lantern's fucking weird. So depending on how long they have Tom Holland for Marvel. Uh-huh. As of right now, you have two of the six sin- original Sinister Six members. Right. Do you see a possible Sinister Six? I know that that was Sony's wet dream from Amazing Spider-Man. Right. right, yeah. Like, they just, want, they just wanted that to happen so bad. Um, at this point, though, I really don't know if they can do it safely. You know what I mean? Without pushing too many guys in there and getting super convoluted. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that is the, that's the main event end goal for Spider Man movies, to have the Sinister Six in there. Because uh, you can't have Venom in it. Sure. I mean, you could. I don't really, the contract is so weird. You could. Yeah. I mean, they did. Because Scorpion was in an incarnation of the Sinister Six. He was, Six. yes. Definitely not so, the original. So, like, they've introduced Scorpion. They've introduced Matt Gargan, a.k.a. Right. Scorpion. Which he had throw... a fucking Scorpion tattoo on his neck. He's not going to fight Spider-Man like that. He's going to fight him in a fucking you know suit. What I, you know what I mean. Let's call him Scorpion. He's Scor- Yeah, no, they said a.k.a. Scorpion. Right. I, so, Scorpion. I mean... Yes, so you will have already you the got Vulture three. introduced. Yep. Mysterio going to be introduced. And Scorpion introduced. And Scorpion introduced. So you got three there. If... They could bring... They could randomly throw in another member... In this one. How so? Just like another... Like another, like... Kind of like how they introduced Mac Argan in Homecoming. Oh, yeah. No, you're absolutely right. Yeah. That's what I mean. Okay. So. They could have a... Uh, uh, whatever the fuck Chameleon's name is. Or whatever. You know what I mean? Or... or, or, or oh, Shocker. Duh. Um, yeah. Can they do the Sinister Six movie? I don't know. I hope so. Because I love Spider-Man. Exactly. And I love his villains. And we love his villains. And we love Spider-Man. Any other thing? Anything else, Tom? We didn't talk about Carnage. Woody Harrelson. <laughs> I really think Woody Harrelson will do good. I think he'll do good. I Shave always that picture head. Shave the head. The dude that's playing uh, Joker, whoever the fuck he is now in Gotham, who played Ian, okay. the brother, on Shameless, would make a perfect Cletus Cassidy. I've seen him do, like, all, off the hinge shit. Great stuff. Yeah, see, I'm wondering if Tom Hardy and Woody Harrelson can, like, play off of each other, though. I feel, I feel like Woody Harrelson can do it. Yeah. Tom Holland, I don't know, really. <sighs> Tom, is that you? Mm, er. Look out for our new movie, Venom vs. Carnage. I'll oh. see you guys soon. Bye. Oh, all right, Tom Holland, everyone. Tom Holland? Tom Holland was here? No. Tom Hardy, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Leave it in. It's your it's shame. In. It's, it's your shame. We gotta wrap it up, Nation. We gotta wrap it up. Hour <laughs> plus. plus. Ah, but not four hours worth of editing. But not four hours worth of editing, and definitely not uh, two and a half hours worth of content for you. But a nice chunky hour content for you. A powerful hour of content. Chunky was a good candy. Chunky? Yeah. What the fuck is chunky? Chunky, it's a fucking, fucking chocolate covered nougat and 
Oh, Nestle yeah, Crunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a silver wrapper. Yeah, like chunky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like chunky. Yeah, just yeah. describe the same thing you're doing with the fucking words. Nation, the next episode you're going to hear from us is going to be episode 40, the big 4 L. We all... Fuck. <laughs> Tom, That's what do we have on the docket for episode 40? For episode 40... Which is not on the list, which is something you, your brainchild. We have some Risen Evil talk and gameplay. That's Actually. your brainchild, baby. Yeah, like it that. is. Why do you look so surprised? I thought we were going to talk about something else, but I got confused, but you're right. Jesus! <laughs> Resident <laughs> Evil, Yes. Yes, Resident Yo, Evil. We had a sidebar off, off, uh, line. The, offline, and I thought that's what we were talking about, but nope. So, Resident <laughs> Evil. Because I know Tom's been itching to play... Itchy, tasty. Tom's been itching to play Resident Evil 2 and sharing it with you, beautiful people of the Rune Nation. So we're going to talk about the series, and then we're going get, to get into some streaming, all right? And some so, of the lore and some of, of Resident lore, Evil. Yes, but really, most importantly, the streaming. Yeah. So, Tommy's got a copy of Resident Evil 2. Yep. I got a copy of Resident Evil 7. We're going to make something happen, all right? We're going to try to celebrate this series because it's definitely in an upswing. Yeah. 7 brought a lot of people back. Mm hmm. 2 is doing phenomenal right yeah. now. So, let's just fucking celebrate with them, celebrate with Capcom, and talk about Resident Evil. Survival horror, baby, at its finest. The Zombies. original. Is that uh, um, yeah, okay, sure. Am I wrong on that? I don't know. You probably are. I'm probably correct. not. Oh, okay. You probably are correct. I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> I was, I was a little fucked up. I'm like, I'm holding a screwdriver. Why do you want to oh, fuck right, with me? Yeah, I don't. So, we're going to talk about Resident Evil, so hit us up on social media with any sort of Resident Evil memories or thoughts or anything you want to mention sure. about Resident Evil. What's your favorite Resident Evil? What's your favorite character what's your favorite moment in the game i know my favorite moment from resident evil what is that you're gonna save it you're gonna tell us now i will talk about it Ooh, in the next episode keep them in suspense so hit us up on the social media like we said we're on twitter twitter.com forward slash rude boys 469 facebook facebook.com forward slash rude boys 469 tommy's holding it down on the instagram instagram.com forward slash rude boys 469 Got our YouTube page, which if we do do any streaming, which we will, you'll see some you'll see some zombie shooting stuff going on. They are fucking sponges, man. Oh man, they are ammo wait. sponges. Can't I have wait. three shotgun shells left right now. Oh, you should find some more shotgun shells. I am working on it, but you I should can... also avoid zombies. I, they make such lovely sounds when their heads explode. All though. right, cool. So, hey, okay, save for next episode. You got it. Our YouTube is at all lowercase. B I T dot L Y forward slash Rude Boys Rude Tube. Also on the YouTube is going to be our podcast episodes, which is hosted by our lovely hosts, the Podbean Network. And our page is at rudeboys.podbean.com. Flick it! And you can also find us on the Apple Podcast app. Just search for Rude Boys Power Hour. Subscribe to that. Give us five stars. And just tell us all about that experience, because I have no fucking idea what goes on over there. Good job, Huey. If you want to also hit us up on social media, if you want to see us on different platforms, please let us know, because we can get our podcast on pretty much anything. But if there's an avenue that you would like to see us on, let us know, man. We're all about you. This is your podcast. Don't forget. You, you can book us, too. Right, yeah, but also don't forget it's our podcast. But sure. you can still book us. That's, that's yeah. fine, yeah. We're, we're there for parties and bar yeah. mitzvahs and stuff like that. Exactly. Anniversaries. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you want candy hit me, grams. Can, oh, dude, I'll do a candy gram in a fucking heartbeat, You may man. not get the candy, though. I'll give you a gram in a heartbeat, man. If you want to hit me up personally, I'm Sherm. I'm over on Twitter at Tesherms, T-E-H underscore S-H-E-R-M-S. You can hit me up on the old Twitter machine at Tommy underscore cash with a K. And that's going to do it. Root Nation. We're going to see you next time on The Rude Boys Power Hour Plus. 
We are the Rude Boys. This has been a Wall Street Bangers production. Fuck it.